Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to this broadcast of the fourth annual Olympic swimming event. We're here live at the C-1000 Stadium. This broadcast is brought to you by our friends over at House Wellness. Remember, if your house smells like shit, well, move the fuck out of that house. Now let's take a look at the athletes here today. From the USA, we have the front runner, Limo Squash. He's certainly been squashing the competition up till this point. That's just about the stupidest thing I've ever said in my life, but he's going to have his work cut out for him today because he's up against the Russian heavyweight, Limo Nade. Mr. Nade has certainly been making the rounds this summer. He's not going to be easy to take down. And we have our very own Sintaro Shina from Japan. He's not the most gifted athlete. I'm not going to tickle your asshole about it, but what he lacks in skill, he makes up for in his civility. The mere sight of that man makes you want to shake his hand. Clearly that's not going to give him an edge in this competition, but we expect big things. We're about to start. Well, that was a much longer pause than I anticipated. My apologies for jumping the gun. The athletes are off to an excellent start so far. Especially that man in the third lane. Look at that backwards beaver stroke. Fucking goodness gracious, look at that next level breast stroke. This is going to be a cutthroat battle here today, folks. Sintaro has not left the diving board yet. Is he ordering a pizza? What's going on over there? What's he looking at? Oh, I see. Well, Mr. Sheena, you may not win this competition, but you've certainly won the hearts of all the viewers at home. Your lust for titties is admirable. Hats off to you, my friend. You should run over there and start pissing on her umbrella, then introduce yourself as the weatherman or something cool. Well, my advice is moot because he's jumped into the ground. He's going for gold. All right, we have a competition on our hands now. The other racers have just finished their first lap. Mr. Sheena is going to have his work cut out for him. Can the golden boy pull this off? It appears his ass is turning into a leaf blower. That does not lend him any advantages. Oh, my apologies. I see now. All right. The metamorphosis is complete. He has gone from human to gas turbine. Holy shit. He is almost caught up to the other contenders. But can he steal first place from Limo Squash? That form is flawless. I just don't know. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Who knows what's going to happen? Where is Mr. Sheena? He's vanished. He's been atomized by his own speed. Not only is Mr. Sheena out of this race, I do believe he is out of existence as well. The judges are discussing the matter. They've called in the stretcher, but gentlemen, there's nothing left. He's evaporated. Go home. We have a race to finish here. It looks like Limo Squash is going to take home the gold. That overhanded mountain climber is just too much for anyone to handle. What the fuck just happened? The water main has busted, ladies and gentlemen. You can't swim with water present. That's common sense. We're going to have to call the race. What the fuck is this? That's Mr. Sheena! Holy shit, we all thought he was dead. What happened? Let's go back to the replay. That should provide us with a cornucopia of information regarding Mr. Sheena's reappearance. Now look, right here, everyone's sure Mr. Sheena's dead. Me included. I'm positive he's gone right here. But I just got word from our intelligence office that he burrowed underground and hit the water pipe at the bottom. Now, this is a legal move. We've confirmed it because it's also a very common move. For those of you that aren't familiar with competitive ground swimming, that move is called the Geyser's Gyarados. Now that is a rookie's move. There is no reason Mr. Sheena should have won this event with that technique. The other athletes should frankly be ashamed, but regardless, Mr. Sheena has the gold medal, and it was a close match, it's just a shame it wrapped up the way it did. From all of us here at C-1000 Stadium, thank you for tuning in, and for our friends at House Wellness, remember, if you have a house, treat it well.